Good day everyone, this is Nina Grace Ignario and together with my groupmates Jules Ivan Kia and Alexis Vincent Villarreal, we will be giving you more information about cloud computing. This vlog will contain information about cloud computing, its main types, the cloud services categories, and of course, its benefits and uses. Are you excited to learn with us? Then, brace yourself as we tackle an interesting topic in the field of computer science and information technology. Have you ever heard of cloud computing? Or do you have any idea about it? If you're not familiar with it yet, don't worry, because we got you. What do we mean when we say cloud computing? According to Microsoft Azure, cloud computing is a delivery of computing services, including servers, storage, databases, networking, software, analytics, and intelligence over the internet or the cloud to offer faster innovation, flexible resources, and economies of scale. You typically pay only for cloud services you use, helping you lower your operating costs, run your infrastructure more efficiently, and scale as your business change. Not all clouds are the same and no single type of cloud computing is right for everyone. Several different models, types, and services have evolved to help offer the right solution for your needs. There are three types of cloud computing. First is the public cloud. Public clouds are owned and operated by third-party cloud service providers, which deliver computing resources like servers and storage over the internet. Microsoft Azure is an example of a public cloud. With public cloud, all hardware, software, and other supporting infrastructure is owned and managed by the cloud provider. You access these services and manage your account using a web browser. The second type is private cloud. A private cloud refers to cloud computing resources used exclusively by single business or organization. A private cloud can be physically located on the company's on-site data center. Some companies also pay third-party service providers to host their private cloud. A private cloud is one in which the services and infrastructure are maintained on a private network. And the third type is hybrid cloud. Hybrid clouds combine public and private clouds, bound together by technology that allows data and applications to be shared between them. By allowing data and applications to move between private and public clouds, a hybrid cloud gives your business greater flexibility and more deployment options and help optimize your existing infrastructure, security, and compliance. Most cloud computing services fall into four broad categories. The Infrastructure as a Service or IAES, Platform as a Service or PAES, Serverless, and Software as a Service or SAAS. They are sometimes called the cloud computing as a stack because they build on top of one another. The first category is the IAAS or Infrastructure as a Service. It is the most basic category of cloud computing service. With Infrastructure as a Service or IAAS, you rent IT infrastructure, servers and virtual machines or VMs, storage, networks, operating system from a cloud provider on a pay-as-you-go basis. The second category is the PAAS or Platform as a Service, refers to cloud computing services that supply an on-demand environment for developing, testing, delivering, and managing software applications. PAAS is designed to make it easier for developers to quickly create web or mobile apps without worrying about the setting up or managing the underlying infrastructure of servers, storage, and networks and databases needed for development. The third one is the SAAS, or the Software as a Service. It's a method for delivering software application over the internet, on demand and typically on a subscription basis. With SAAS, cloud providers host and manage the software application and underlying infrastructure and handle any maintenance like software upgrades and security patching. 
users connect to the application over the internet, usually with a web browser on their phone, tablet, or PC. The fourth one is the serverless computing. Overlapping with PAAS, serverless computing focuses on the building app functionality without spending time continually managing the servers and infrastructure required to do so. The cloud provider handles the setup, capacity planning, and server management for you. Serverless computing architectures are highly scalable and event-driven, only using resources when a specific function or trigger of course. Top benefits of cloud computing. Cloud computing is a big shift from the traditional way businesses think about IT resources. Here are seven common reasons organizations are turning to cloud computing services. First one is the cost. Moving to the cloud helps companies optimize IT cost. This is because cloud computing eliminates the capital expense of buying hardware and software and setting up and running on-site data centers. The racks of servers, the round-the-clock electricity for power cooling, and the IT experts for managing the infrastructure. It adds up fast. Second is the speed. Most cloud computing services are provided self-service and on-demand, so even vast amounts of computing resources can be provisioned in minutes, typically with just a few mouse clicks, giving businesses a lot of flexibility and taking the pressure off capacity planning. Third is the global scale. The benefits of cloud computing services include the ability to scale elastically. In cloud speak, that means delivering the right amount of IT resources. For example, more or less computing power, storage, bandwidth, right when they're needed, and from the right geographic location. Fourth is productivity. On-site data centers typically require a lot of racking and stacking. Hardware setup, software patching, and other time consuming IT management chores. Cloud computing removes the need for many of these tasks so IT teams can spend time on achieving more important business goals. Fifth is performance. The biggest cloud computing services run on a worldwide network of secure data centers which are regularly upgraded to the latest generation of fast and efficient computing hardware. This offers benefits of a single corporate data center, including reduced network latency for applications and greater economies of scale. Sixth is reliability. Cloud computing makes data backup, disaster recovery, and business continuity easier and less expensive because data can be mirrored at multiple redundant sites on the cloud provider's network. Lastly is security. Many cloud providers offer a broad set of policies, technologies, and controls that strengthen your security posture overall, helping protect your data, apps, and infrastructure from potential threats. You're probably using cloud computing right now, even if you don't realize it. If you use an online service to send an email, edit documents, watch movies or TV, listen to music, play games, or store pictures and other files, it's likely that cloud computing is making possible all behind the scenes. Here are a few examples of what's possible with cloud services from a cloud provider. First. Cloud computing creates cloud-native applications. Quickly build, deploy, and scale applications, web, mobile, and API. Take advantage of cloud-native technologies and approaches, such as containers, Kubernetes, microservice architecture, API-driven communication, and DevOps. Second, it is used to store backup and recover data. Protect your data more cost-efficiently and at massive scale by transferring your data over the internet to an off-site cloud storage system that's accessible from any location and at any device. Third, it is used to stream audio and video. Connect with your audience anywhere, anytime and on any device with high-definition video and audio with global distribution. Fourth, it is used to deliver software on demand also known as software as a service, 
on-demand software lets you offer the latest software versions and updates to customers anytime they need, anywhere they are. Fifth, it is used to test and build applications. Reduce application development costs and time by using cloud infrastructures that can easily be scaled up or down. Second to the last, it is used to analyze data. Unify your data across teams, divisions, and locations in the cloud. Then use services such as machine learning and artificial intelligence to uncover insights for more informed decisions. And lastly, cloud computing embeds intelligence. Use intelligent model to help engage customers and provide valuable insights from the data captured. And that ends our vlog and hope you guys learned something from us. We had fun making this vlog to spread more information about cloud computing and we hope that you loved it. Thank you so much for watching!